Kawasaki's answer to fill the gap in the middleweight market. The first Z750 was released in late 2003 and continued production until 2006. Kawasaki realised that the front suspension was too soft and the rear was too harsh, leading to handling issues. And feedback from the public led to the modifications that we see today on this 2010 model. Now this front suspension is fully adjustable with preload and rebound damping, allowing the rider to adjust the suspension according to their weight. However, the cost cutting exercise that Kawasaki undertook whilst producing this motorbike led to the already basic suspension being simplified, resulting in the rear being far too soft. This means that once a bike is pushed hard, you start to see its weaker areas. The weight of the bike is also an issue. The curb weight, with all the fluids, uh, of 226 kilograms is substantial and no spot on the first ride. Don't be fooled by the published dry weight of 207 kilograms. The standard exhaust alone weighs in at just over 6. This weight has a detrimental effect on the braking performance. Despite this Nissan calipers being added, they seem less effective under heavy braking, and this could cause a problem in the emergency. However, the power available actually masks the weight, giving the rider the opportunity to ride the bike like any 600 middleweight and having a lot of fun doing so. The 748cc lump has a nice blend of usable power and torque on the road, without being too over the top or too bland, giving you enough get up and go in the corners and enough forgiveness in the wet and cold to keep you shiny side up. Kawasaki have given the bike a makeover, with the addition of wavy discs and the revised plastic trim around the frame to cover the gaps. Many aftermarket retailers provide an array of products to personalise your bike, from bar ends to stylish end cans. RNG, as always, provide excellent crash protection. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've done with my bike, to give you an idea of what's out there. So um, what I've done with my bike is I've cleaned up the uh, the rear end for one. Uh, I've got a tail tidy, you know, just make uh, make the appearance much more smart. Um, mini indicators, the choice of many bikers, just take away that that bulkiness. Um, rear hugger as well, um, in the hope that it will stop so much mud from splashing up on the bike. But to be honest, it hasn't made that much of a difference. Now it just seems to be doing a job of looking good. Um, proud of my SC exhaust can here. Um, makes a great noise and it backfires nicely as well every now and then. Oberon aftermarket racing pegs um, just to make you know, make it look nicer and make the styling more aggressive. Moving on, RNG engine case covers. One here, there and around the other side as well. And combined with that I have the uh, RNG crack, crash protection kit. I then went and got the um, adjustable levers. I got these again, they look stylish, they're good and above all they're practical. You can change the length and distance they are from your fingers and you can also you know that in the event of an accident if you do go down the ground that will just come right up and they won't snap off like many clutch levers, brake levers do. Here I have the under tray. It doesn't put, uh, serve any purpose in keeping mud off the bike because it is a naked bike, it does get muddy. Um, however for me it just improves the styling and it looks aggressive. For me, the Z750 is a fantastic machine. However, weighing it at just over 226 kilograms is a bit on the heavy side, and this does have a negative effect on both the suspension and the brakes. The brakes themselves appear fine, but combined with the weight of the bike, they do seem to struggle. However, there are many positives. I love the aggressive styling, it's unique and sexy. Riders of all abilities can ride this bike and have a lot of fun doing so. And most of all for me, it has character. The roar of the engine and its unrestrained power begs to be abused.
Despite its faults, its slow down talk and forgiving power curve cater new riders and experienced riders alike. The Z750, with its aggressive styling, is radical and attractive and appeals to a wide spectrum of riders, and in my opinion, is a good second hand buy.